good afternoon everybody welcome back to my channel i just wanted to come on real quick and and just state an observation that i've seen um throughout uh uh on my timeline earlier today and my heart really sunk when i saw when i when i heard um the lyrics of a song that says the guy was rapping and he said that i will not sell my soul i will never sell my soul but you know let me tell y'all something we selling our souls when we're not doing the will of god we're selling our souls when we go against the grain when we go against what the holy spirit is warning us of we're selling our souls when we're lying we're selling our souls when we're gossiping we're selling our souls when we're listening to music that isn't uh to edify and worship god to edify the body of christ we're we're selling our souls y'all when we're committing adultery we're selling our souls y'all when we're keeping up mess and confusion we're selling our souls when we're keeping discard in our hearts. We're selling our souls. And we don't even realize it because we think it's just the norm. Because we've been stiff forming and we've been rejecting the voice of God. That we just think that it is the norm. Because let me tell you something. In order for you to listen to that ungodly music... That means it is ministering to something in your spirit. Your spirit is connecting to that. In order for you to listen to that, and the deception in the song, oh, I will never sell my soul. But we are selling our souls. We're selling our souls when we're doing it our way instead of doing it the Holy Ghost way. We're selling our souls, y'all. We're selling our souls when we're fornicating. We're selling our souls for the lust of money, for the love of money. We're selling our souls, y'all. We are selling our souls when we're not taking into account that this very thing could plant me where I'm going to grow roots in hell from. We're selling our souls when we do that. So you may not be selling your soul for fame and fortune, but you're selling your soul through what you do on a daily basis by rejecting the voice of God. We're selling our souls when we're doing it our way instead of God's way. Yeah, we may not think that we're selling our soul for the fame and fortune, but we're selling our souls when we continue to do it our way instead of God's way. Because we must consider if we take our last breath in disobedience that we will not make heaven our home. We will not make heaven our home. And I want to even, I want to say this too. If you are in any relationship, if you are in any, in any friendship and that friendship was based off of something ungodly, that friendship, that relationship was based off of you gossiping about somebody else? Are you coming into agreement against somebody else? That ain't no true relationship. That relationship wasn't sent by God. That friendship that you, you, you have, that wasn't sent by God. What is that friendship based on? Gossip. And sowing discard. So you may not be selling your soul. Let me tell you something. You may not be selling your soul for what this world has to offer but spiritually you're selling your soul when you are not obeying the voice of God when you're not obeying the laws that are written on your heart of God you are selling your soul you're selling your soul you're selling your soul I'm, you are selling your soul I just got so irritated when I heard that, because I said, what a deception. Yeah, you may not be on the big buildings. You may not be on the big billboards. But let me tell you something. In the spirit, you're selling your soul. When you do things your way, when we do things our way, we are selling our soul. When we decide to do it our way instead of God's way. Because every time we reject what is right and we do it our way, Instead of God's way, we are selling our soul. 
and it's so sad. Do y'all know how many people are entering eternity? And a lot of them are not making heaven their home. Y'all, oh Lord Jesus, y'all, we better get it together. We better make sure that our name is written on the Lamb's Book of Life. We better get in that word and see what is the straight and narrow path to everlasting life. Because we may think that it's all right and God is a loving God and God is a forgiving God. Yes, that is true. But God also has a wrath and the Bible warns us of that wrath. Let me tell you, we sell in our souls when we do it our way instead of hearing the voice of God and doing it his way. Let me tell you how we sell our soul. We sell our soul through gossip. We sell our soul through lies. We sell our soul through uh, fornication. We sell our souls through, through adultery. Homosexuality, that's not of God. That's not of God. That's selling our soul. Homosexuality is not of God. It's not of God. It's not of God. It's not of God. It's not of God. God did not create man for man or woman for woman. He created man for woman and he created woman for man. And the only righteous way to be found in that is through a holy matrimony. We are selling our soul. You, don't, you, you may not have come into uh, uh, agreement physically with the enemy of your soul, but spiritually, y'all, spiritually, that's exactly what we're doing when we do it our way instead of God's way. God bless y'all. I hope you consider that and you ponder on it and you think about it. Because y'all, let me tell you something, whether we want to admit it or not, at the end of this life, when we take our last breath, we're going to stand before a holy God. We're going to stand before a just God. We are going to stand before the true and living God, y'all, that has the power to cast our souls into hell. Now, it's your choice whether you want to hear, job well done, my good and faithful servant. You can come on in or depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. It's your choice. It's your choice. God gives us free will of choice. It's your choice.